have some new details on that stabbing investigation in Kailua over the weekend. 28-year-old Jesse Kila has been charged with second-degree assault in the case. He is accused of stabbing a 38-year-old man in the torso. That pair reportedly got into a fight around 4.30 Saturday afternoon on Kailua Road. Medics rushed that victim to the hospital in serious condition. We're told that officers tracked down the suspect at his home about an hour after the attack. Maui police are looking for a hit and run driver who left a mother of four in critical condition last month. 34 year old Heidi Medeiros was walking along South Kihei Road the night of April 17th when she was struck from behind by someone who fled that scene. Investigators say that a witness chased the driver who was in a newer model dark colored sedan but lost contact when they turned right on Uapo Road. Medeiros' sister says she has a brain injury that will likely change her life forever. No suspects, no leads on any vehicles that could match the descriptions. Um, no one came forward. And that's really just what we want is we just want the person to, you know, own up to what they did. You know, why live with the guilt and just own up and come in, come see the family, come see her and see what kind of um, impact you had on her life. Anyone with information is asked to call MPD at the number on your screen. The family has a GoFundMe account to offset medical bills. You can look for that link at hawaiinewsnow.com. A man who's getting paid $12.5 million to settle a lawsuit with the city has been arrested for gun crimes. Officers booked Jonathan Perkins Sinapati on Saturday for allegedly firing a gun out of a moving vehicle in Kaneohe. We don't know the circumstances, but we do know no one was hurt. In 2021, Perkins Sinapate was driving a sedan that was being chased by police in Makaha when he crashed. He was in a coma for weeks. Five others were seriously injured. That 38-year-old filed one of three civil lawsuits blaming HPD. In February, the city council approved a settlement. And on Monday, his attorney cast suspicion on his weekend arrest. The criminal trial for the four HPD officers accused in the case, that's scheduled to start in June. The first alert is for Friday and Saturday, because that's when that disturbance drops in and we could see some isolated thunderstorms. And by that time, many areas of the state, the ground will be saturated, which means not a lot of rain will be needed for flooding to occur. So if you live in an area that is flooded before, take precautions because it's possible to get flooded again. And then even after that, there will be some scattered showers in through the early part of next week. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.